Ahoy and welcome! My name is Clemens Helm and you're watching Code Chip Testing Tuesday number 3. Today is the first time that we're recording a screencast, so I'm very excited. I hope so are you. In the last two blog posts I wrote about test-driven development, behavior-driven development, and what's the difference between them. Now today I'm going to introduce Cucumber, which is a behavior-driven development framework. Cucumber lets you write features for your application in natural language. It is available for several languages like the Java Virtual Machine, Python, PHP, and of course Ruby on Rails. Today we're going to develop a little Ruby on Rails application showing what you can do with Cucumber. Now I've already prepared a little application containing a guide of superheroes. This is what it looks like in the browser. So far we've only got one superhero in here in Metropolis and it's of course Superman. And what we want to do is to use Cucumber to add a second superhero to our application. In Cucumber you write feature files, so the first thing we need to do is create a Cucumber feature here, which is visiting batman.feature and we also put the title in here visiting batman. In Cucumber you usually put a short description of the feature at the top. So I could write in order to be protected by the dark night as an innocent citizen I want to visit Batman. Okay, within one feature we can define several scenarios. A scenario is a sequence of steps that describe what exactly you want to achieve. So our first scenario would be visiting Batman from the superheroes guide. In Cucumber you have three different kinds of steps. Given steps, when steps and then steps. Given steps define in what state your application should be before the feature starts. So in this case we could say given I am at the superheroes guide. Then there are when steps which are actions that you take to achieve your goal. When I follow the guide to Gotham City then I should be protected by Batman. Now that our scenario is ready, we can just run it in our terminal just by entering Cucumber. And it will tell us, okay, we've got these steps here, but I have no idea what to do with them. So what we have to do is we take these stops that it suggests us and create step definitions for them. Let's call them Batman steps. So our first step is given I am at the superheroes guide. Cucumber uses Capybara which gives us a very easy syntax for visiting pages, clicking links, processing forms. So in here we can just write visit superheroes path. The when step would basically be clicking the link. Click link Gotham City and the then step should be Find H1, 
should have content Batman. Now when we run this feature again, we will get an error. It tells us unable to find link Gotham City. And this is exa exactly what behavior driven development is like. It's like getting basically from one error message to the next one, but the error messages always instruct you what to do next. So from this error message we know, okay, we need to put a link to Gotham City on a superhero's guide. And that's what we're going to do now. So I will just copy this line, say link to Gotham City. Running Cucumber again, it will tell us, well, I expected to find Batman in Metropolis protected by Superman. This is because I didn't change the path at all. I just let the link also point to the Superman page. So what we have to do here is make a link to Batman. And now we get an error from Rails. It says, okay, I'm missing the template superheroes Batman. This is because in app views superheroes, we've just get the Superman page so far. I'm gonna insert a Batman page in here. And yeah, basically we can copy the contents from the Superman page and just adapt them for Batman. Protected by Batman. And here we need a different image, of course, which is Batman PNG. So, and now it works. And if we look into the browser, refresh the page, we've got the Gotham City link. And if we click on it, here is Batman. So this seemed like a lot of steps to achieve something really simple. What's the advantage of using Cucumber? Well, one of the advantages is if you read your features later on, you don't have to dig through code. You can just read it in natural language and you will always know what you actually wrote. This is especially useful when your features fail at some point because the description of the step that failed will exactly tell you what doesn't work in your application anymore. But what I like most about Cucumber is the reusability of the steps. So let's say I want to enter another superhero. We can basically just copy this scenario and correct it to Spider-Man. So, well, Spider-Man lives in New York, as far as I know. And I should be protected by Spider-Man in New York. So, when I run this feature again, of course it will tell me these steps aren't present. The first one still works, but we haven't defined these two steps. Now, actually, we've changed very little in the second scenario. We've changed the city name and we've changed the superhero name. So what we can do is just replace this strings here by placeholders, because this whole term here is a regular expression. And then Cucumber accepts arguments like city name here or superhero name here. Oops, superhero name, there we go. So when we run this feature again, it will fail, but we can see that it actually recognized all the steps and it just tells us, well, there is no link to New York and this step hasn't run yet because the previous one failed. I will leave it up to you to finish this example. 
You can find the whole source code of this application on github.com slash codechip slash superheroes. Also for some help to get started with Cucumber, check out cukes.info. There are a lot of examples and it's a great help to get you started. Feel free to leave a comment, I'm glad to help you out. And see you next week when it's Testing Tuesday with Codechip. Always stay shipping.